Hello and welcome to ARCA at Nashville Super Speedway. The super speedway that's not a super speedway. <laughs> this is a super speedway I can get behind. Haha. -ha. Wow. Haha, -ha, funny. Um, <laughs> Hold on, let me adjust my volume. Oops, bump the mic a little bit. There we go. It's just a little loud. Uh, Alright. So this is a great track. Glad to be here. In Arca, it's been a couple months since the last time I believe I was here in this car was uh, was Gavin's hosted race. Actually, is that true? That might not be true. We might have been here another time between then. Okay, but uh, either way, kind of just getting back up to speed on the track. Not how to do it. Well, <laughs> as you can tell, I gotta get used to it again. So we have one lap to get things done now. That's not great. All clear on pit exit. Just tried to get too much there. Um, I was just about to point out, and this might have had something to do with spinning. Uh, it's night, and I practiced at not night, so grip levels might be different here. Maybe that had something to do with it, or maybe I'm making excuses. Either way, I shouldn't be spinning out, so. Um, take it a little easier this time, I guess, and just make sure we get a lap in. Because we are the number two in this race, and I'm going to be very disappointed. I have to start in the back. Take it a little easier, even though I could have gone faster there. I don't want to just completely ruin a slap, although that was maybe a little bit slower than I should have gone. It's really loose out of turn three or turn four here, so you've got to really be careful. That was a horrible lap. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? That was terrible. I completely bungled qualifying here. I mean, you see what I, my all-time best is at. I was hitting around there pretty consistently leading into this. Apparently I've forgotten how to drive, though. I mean, that was better. I wish that counted. That lap didn't count, though. Now I can drive, now that the laps don't count. Got a little loose there, but still this fast. Oh boy. Well, maybe I can save tires a little bit then, if I don't have to worry about uh, keeping in front of anyone. I'm still in the pack, so I don't know what I'm talking about there, but... And then I messed up that turn four there, and that was still a, what? 30.5? That would have put me in top five. Oops. Well, I guess we're coming from mid to back of the pack. Okay, so we didn't have to actually pay for damages. I cannot hit a 30.3, I can tell you that. My, but my best is a 30.4. I mean, I guess I, t I probably could if my if I just get a tiny bit faster, but um, without with no consistently. Oops. What am I doing here? Never, I've never clicked on this before. Okay. Stop clicking on things. Me. <laughs> um, so, that guy was really fast. He was uh, about my speed uh, in the open practice. And, uh... I've got some cool guys in here that I've raced against before. Some good names. I don't recognize the one, but I recognize a couple of the other guys. That's cool. Hope they have some good luck. Got my chat on. You know what else I forgot to do is uh, put my brakes back in my vehicle. I like doing that as well, but uh, that certainly didn't make me spin out. I could tell you that. <laughs> and it didn't make that much of a difference, but we'll go ahead and do that now. I wonder if I should have practiced on 14 to 1. I don't know. I was kind of indecisive. And I decided, well, I'll just do 16 to 1. 
maybe uh, prevent myself from spinning out. Or prevent myself from tearing the tires off, I mean. And I can probably uh, stop myself from spinning out, even with a little bit of less responsiveness with the wheel, but uh, apparently I can't stop myself from spinning out, so. Maybe I should have done 14 to 1. Either way, we'll take it easy here. Play the tire game, maybe. And uh, hopefully not get run over. Just have a fun time. My uh, streak uh, of 0x... Ah, there's Mike. Yeah, he's commented before. Uh, we've had some good races. There's no tight cone I'll look to him. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, we'll just uh, try to focus on easing the tires, not get run over and stuff. I had my uh, 0x streak in ARCA broken last week at Pocono, unfortunately. I was 0x for the whole ARCA season until, until that race. It was a bit of a bummer, but I mean, it, it doesn't really mean anything. It was just like a meaningless thing. I was kind of tracking like, hey, can I make the whole season without getting an incident? But no. Nah. was not to be. And then I actually did a follow-up race. Po Pocono race on my own time because I was like I feel like I could uh, do a little better and then I got taken out in uh, turn four of the last lap because the guy I was racing bounced off the wall and took me out and uh, that was another 4x so me and Pocono are on bad terms right now <laughs> we aren't speaking darn triangle poked my eyes out but now we're at a nice friendly round tra track Nashville Super Speedway, which is usually pretty clean, so hopefully that'll uh, hold up here. Bit of a stacked up start. They waited a while. Outside. Keep low. Gotta find our place here a little bit. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. Clear. Some breaths. And uh, start focusing on hitting our marks a little Three bit. Don't like that loose I'm seeing in front of me. Hit somehow. I don't know how you manage that. Hit me in the right rear. At that point in the corner. But he kind of did. I was on the bottom line. That was not me. The leader has just done a 30.5 E8. Car in front of lap time is a 30.8. I'll move forward at least. I feel like we should. I feel like I have a little more pace than I had in qualifying. But, uh, gotta remember to be patient, especially on turn four, which is very loose for whatever reason. I don't want to be the guy uh, flying through the field like a jerk, making dumb moves. Until I have runs, and then uh, then I'll do it. Car outside. Go low. Outside, clear. Go. It's gonna hurt my tires having to pass guys this whole uh, whole way forward, but hey, it's pretty fun. Pass some dudes. loose there, but I want to be pretty aggressive on the throttle so the, uh, the wear is happening to the right rear rather than the right front, so if I can uh, keep it on the edge might be good for me. Nice 40 lap race here, that's a decent bit of time, I like that.
We're not there, so I'm not going to do that. Better get the uh, good angle on the corner than A, dive it in, or B, back off and not dive it in and have a bad angle on the corner. So, smart. We'll wait for our opportunity. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Clear, clear outside. Okay, well we're mowing the lawn now. You're in the top ten. Hey, we're coming out of the pits. <laughs> That's fun. Green flag pit stops, but you didn't expect that in an Arca race, did you? I mean, I can't be mad at the guy for just making a genuine mistake. You just got loose out of that corner. It's very easy to do, so. That's not the stuff that makes me upset. The stuff that makes me upset is when people make dumb moves and he just made a genuine mistake, so. Well, uh. Try to move forward again. <laughs> so the, uh. The incidents have come. A little faster in this second half of the season. Gotta be careful, we're much uh, faster mid corner than this guy, I think. Back to 17th, that hurts. Car outside. Back in Thank you, 19. Jones is getting closer. The gap's now 0.4. That's kind of funny, I was like, uh, I had to basically put myself in the grass to avoid actually making contact with that guy. <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing. I mean, he did the right thing. He didn't overcorrect and, you know, smash himself into the wall or in, in the path of the other guys. But um, unfortunately, the place he was sliding to was where I was. 16th place. So, I ended up just having to uh, continue driving down the track into the grass. And I don't even know if he, he might have tapped us, but I only ever got the 1x, I think, so I might have actually uh, avoided contact. I certainly avoided any damage, at least, as far as I can tell. Yeah, we just had the 1x, so at least our car is fine. This maybe got some the lap time was at grass, and it smells like fresh summer afternoon. <laughs> Got that lawnmower smell. What do you mean you guys don't sniff your race car? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, we're not going to have a very good finish this race, unfortunately. At least we didn't get a uh, cutting okay, course penalty. The next car is Riddle. Believe it or not, I don't think cutting the course there, quote unquote, made it any faster. <laughs> I also will say, sliding to the left, trying to avoid him, I think kind of didn't do very great things to the tires. But the tires are just naturally evolving anyway. We're not even halfway yet, so we've still got time to move forward, possibly, and... Maybe some chance for guys to, uh, mistakes. He's cutting the apron. That was a you could get, like, a thousandth of a second, maybe, from doing that. But, uh... It's not really worth it too much, because what you gain, you kind of lose because you have to uh, come up from the apron, apron before the corner, and it's just a less direct path. I'm not so sure 
how much it helps, and i just rather not get the car unsettled. I think I'm good. I'm normally the type to uh, cut the aprons. If it's going to save me time, I'm not going to leave that on the table, but here I'm just kind of like, eh, not quite worth it. So now we got to make our way through here. Oh my goodness gracious, that guy was damaged. I'm just stuck at the moment. I'm not going to take it three wide, not for this position. Right. That makes me get past now. Clear outside. Hey, if you're going to leave the door open, I'm going to walk in. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be three wide, though. I don't like that. Uh, I didn't want to make it three wide. We're going to be fine by the time we get there, though. Outside, clear. Outside. Well, <laughs> this is fun. It's fun racing. It's a mile and a half die he's making. Oh god, that was not smart by anybody. <laughs> I mean, that's just gonna... I don't know what he's trying to do. Either take me out or... I don't know, maybe he wanted to have no run off the corner. I'm not judging if that's what you want. His tires have to be dead, though. If he's driving like that. Believe it or not, it's a super speedway you have to hit the brakes at. <laughs> First of all, it's not a super speedway. Second of all, you know. I don't know what. I didn't have a second of all. I don't know why I even formatted that sentence in that way. But, the point is, it's not a real super speedway. But you do have to hit the brakes. I like it. It's good stuff. I guess the goal now is to uh, try to get back into the top ten. See if we can pull that off. By the end of this one, we might uh, have passed the most cars uh, on track. It'd be interesting if we could see that metric. I'd love to see uh, just how many... I guess I could watch my vi own video and find out how many people I passed. But then again, I can't like compare it to anyone else to see if anyone else had the same All right, experience. There's so, much I can do with that information, but it might be interesting. I think it's about time I have uh, a last lap up. Could have been useful information earlier even, but... Uh, Thank you, Mike. You're on, Mac. Car inside. Clear inside. <clears throat> he was really slow through the exit there, and I didn't want to lose all the momentum, but uh, he's going to end up in the wall if I took it the weird angle there, so. It's like parking it down here on the bottom. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. Outside. Clear. This guy's uh, overdriving the corner, it looks like. And the uh, tires are... Falling off. Straight up collapsing on guys, it looks like. It's 12, we've been kind of following through. He's been moving forward. Passing here soon, though. Just haven't really uh, had the opportunity. Alright. Kind of cut it close. I run on them, but we didn't really have uh, gels. He's really driving in it. It's so hard, man. Car outside. That lap was outside. Clear. It's like defending. 
in a way that makes it hard to get by him. We're kind of getting held up a little bit, but not too bad. He's not too bad on speed. I'm surprised at how well he's actually making that work. The dive in kind of thing. Skills has run off. I'm going down at the apron. That'll be our opportunity, as long as he doesn't blink in front of me or something. Car outside. Go low. Right. Still there. And we're off. Yeah. Hooray. Please don't take me out. Oh my god, is he going to run over the back of me, isn't he? I was really worried that he was going to just take the corner like he has been, even though I slowed down more. So I actually drove it a little harder in than I normally do. But, uh, we're good, we're good. But the thought crossed my mind and I was ready to react accordingly. And I have to prepare for worst case scenario. So you don't know what guys are going to do. Just uh, focusing on my positioning in the corner, making sure that I'm following the line that I want to be going uh, going down. I have to hit brakes more at this point in the run, but uh, that's what you got to do. You got to adjust as the car gets tighter. Got two point one to the guy in front of us. Twelve laps to get there. I uh, hit the apron a little bit, that was bad. That was a case of me not being able to follow the line that I wanted to follow. Easier said than done. I can say, hey, I'm gonna go win the race now. But I can't just go do it now, can I? I can try. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Car feels good though. Happy with uh, how I've treated the tires to this point. They're gonna get tighter no matter what. However, I feel like I've managed them uh, decently. That has allowed me to start reeling in the guys in front of us. We might be able to get there. I think we should be able to get there before the end of this one. Maybe get that top 10. We'll see. Obviously, top 10 is not great. That's <laughs> the number two. But, uh, well, we didn't really get the best circumstances thrown our way. I had to mow a lawn in the middle of this race. Now, uh, team funds were short, so, uh, take those uh, odd jobs once in a while. That's good consistency. Keep Nashville Super Speedway said, you know, we need someone to mow this lawn for about, you know, five bucks. I'm like, all right, fine. Barrow is leading the race. Ooh. That sure is tight. The vehicle is tight. And uh, I think the car would be in better shape for me. Better than it is now if I didn't have to pass so many darn people. It still looks like we have a tire advantage. Some of the guys. It's all about getting that uh, run on exit. Slowing down for the corner. Uh, inside. Still there at six. Day high. I don't know why I went to the outside. Day high the car it just kind of side. felt like it would be better. Clear. The gap behind has now decreased to 0.2. 
All right, we got six laps to go. I'm cutting it. I'm cutting the apron. We need that thousandth. Kind of for the funny ha-has. Oh, well, we gotta beat the other Colton. Can't be the second place Colton in this race. That's the first loser Colton. It's not another. <laughs> Just checking to see if there's not another Colton here. Then I would have. Right, it's felt silly. Okay, Colton, you're reeling. Ward, pin, the this is a no silly zone. This is serious racing. Haven't you heard how serious people take this? I mean, I take it seriously. <laughs> to, a, to an extent. If I wanted just goofy racing, I'd go play Wreckfest or something. But the allure of iRacing is right. You're kind of like taking it pretty seriously. You want to race like you actually have to pay for the darn car. You've just done it. At the time it gets wrecked. That's kind of the allure. Simulator and whatnot. If I want to catch this car ahead, I just have to pretend that I'm gonna get an actual pint of Ben and Jerry's when I get there. That might be the motivation I need to grab this top ten. That was a thirty-one point seven. I'll take a bite out of it. You think it's Ben or Jerry who's driving that car? P11. Assuming that was Colton. Everybody wants to have that name, right? And he's gonna fight for it because it's only two laps to go. Two to go. That lap was a thirty-one point eight. Oh, can we do it? Can we get the top ten? White flag, stay smooth. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Stay low, to the car on the high side. Flag, one more lap. Stay low. Push up high. Clear outside. Go, clear them. Now, let's hope he doesn't want the top 10 that bad. I bet this lap car doesn't do something really dumb. Okay, fine. I was kind of scared of him and it made me think Come on, Drag it, drag it! Guys, upset. Woo! Oh, cool, man. That was a lot of fun. Got the top 10. 10th position. There's the checkered flag. Way to run, chicken flag, chicken flag. I love this track. That was an adventurous race, that's for sure. Good race, y'all. Sorry, uh, Colton, for that spin out at the beginning of the race. It was my bad. That's all right. Honest mistake, man. That kind of thing doesn't upset me. Just uh, when people are too aggressive, that stuff's annoying. But uh, honest mistake, you're fine. I didn't need to say all that. I'm too wordy. <laughs> now someone thinks. Uh, calling him out that's not true <laughs> so after all that all that up and down i at least beat my uh beat my uh starting spot is my mic even working i, I really earlier it wasn't working is my mic even working by the way i had trouble with it earlier it might not be working i don't know something was weird with my mic Uh, who was the guy? Oh, he's gone. Dang it. I think my mic's not working, so... That stinks. I wanted to tell him it was fine, but... Uh, my got uh, top five. Is he even here? Is everybody gone? Is everyone leaving me? 
desktop product. Oh my gosh, why can't I type? We're racing. Yeah. Yay. All right. Enough chit chat and we got incidents to look at. Sorry, bump the mic again. Why is it always so loud? Look it stop. Replays are always way too loud. Yeah. Okay. And while I'm here, this. I feel like I'm like the least professional. <laughs> like, I racing YouTuber. All right, lap two. This is the guy that I slid a little later on. So he got tight there and got loose later on. Wink out. Uh, <laughs> there I am up there. <laughs> that looks really funny. That was actually really funny. I'm like, ew, 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 don't touch me, ew, ew. <laughs> and then I mow the grass. <laughs> That's so funny. So I probably... I mean, no, there's, I was going to say maybe I could have hit the brakes and gone around the other side, but no, there's no way. I was, I had a run on him and then by the time I see he's there, there's no way I can like cut to the right or anything. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just turning it all the way to the left. Uh, maybe I'm just straight up chat shadow band. I don't know. Oh, there's Mike, little tiny hit of the wall. I wonder if it affected him at all. Whoa! It's kind of strange. Pitching it into the corner like it's a dirt track. I'm not sure how it even did that. <laughs> that looked intentional, like he's trying to pitch it. Like he went so hard on the left, did he just give up and decide to hit the wall? That was kind of strange. Check out that one. A little bit of wobbly there. Oh, I, I, yeah, I got the wall a little bit because I had to adjust my line. I didn't want to just hit the brakes after because it looked like he got a, he had to check up for Gatorade. Oh, um, and I had to kind of dodge him a little bit. Oh, wall and entry. That stinks. That'll mess up your whole corner. And when you mess up your whole corner, it probably messes up the straightaway, too. Although maybe you can get a runoff. Because you're taking the high side back, isn't it? It's having uh, trouble adjusting to that uh, to the tighter race car, it looks like. Ooh, a little brush. You can see a lot of that, I think. Kind of jumps out at you a little bit. It was made worse when Nashville Super Speedway first came out because the collision was messed up a little bit. The wall was, um, the collision with the wall was actually a little closer than visually you could see it. So you'd hit the wall like a foot away from the wall, maybe like half a foot, maybe not that dramatic, but uh, it really stank <laughs> when we first got here. Kind of ruined the track for me the first couple of times I raced it because you want to like get every inch right you want to be up right by the wall and maximize your corner but when you would do that you would hit the wall and it was super frustrating to bounce off the wall whenever uh whenever you would uh maximize your corner even though you shouldn't have hit the wall so sorry i'm, I'm having brain farts so we're just getting lots of wall hits but this is the last lap so too much left to see, I imagine. In fact, this is after it's over. Guy okay, just uh, swerving around. So we had an adventurous race. These guys are just messing around, I guess. And uh, kind of curious. It sounded like this guy had an interesting finish. <laughs> Sounds like yeah, they had a photo finish. That's what I thought. That's what it sounded like to me. So he's trying to get the run on the Home Depot car. It's coming on the outside. Ooh, I 
Ooh, did he get him? The eight? No, I think he could have though if he uh he took that a little differently. I'm still trying to figure this place out, son. Had my Hmm? Oh, friend request or something. Okay. So, see you later. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> At least I know he got my message. I was starting to wonder if, like, did I say something in chat and get shadow banned or something? <laughs> like, at some point. Anyway, uh, this guy's finished. It looks like he cuts down here and then gets afraid like he's going to tap into him. I think if he, like, holds it closer and holds it more steady, he might actually get him, because it's that close. But see, he, like, dives down. I think the 8 handled that pretty well. The 8, like, got up next to him and then dove down at the last second. It's interesting. But, so uh, that was that race. So we had a roller coaster. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, while I'm doing my outro, just do a super fast, like, uh, oops. This might be hard on the eyes, I'm sorry. Oh, it's too fast. I'm sorry. It's making me dizzy. Let's do a, uh, not blimp, but chopper cam of my race. And, uh, I'll see you next time after that, uh, I want to say roller coaster, but I use that term too often. <laughs> There's me going in the grass, and then I gotta pass a bunch of guys again. But, uh, it was fun. It's good racing, uh, Mike, and I think, uh, raced with some other guys in here i don't know but uh, it was fun i might do another one on my own time or maybe even uh upload another one of these later in the week or something just because uh i do think i could do better but uh, for now i'll see you later hope you have a good one thanks for watching